precious, beautiful people. I'm so happy to see you again. It's Linda Shields from Vancouver Island. And this past weekend, well, just a little bit of an update. David Wood came to Vancouver Island on an invitation by Warren Lance. He's just an amazing um, uh, five-star golden circle here with Isogenics. And uh, anyway, he's always doing so much to help us move along. You know, I've been told right from the start, your business will grow as much as you do. And you already know, I mean, it's been 10 years that I've been out here tiptoeing through so many different network marketing companies. And the only thing that's kept me going is that I had a belief in the concept that um, dollars for hours, uh, working dollars for hours was going to run out on me. And it was taken up all my life where leveraging my time and my money seemed, um, yeah, uh, uh, there was a little more wisdom in it, but at the same time, uh, with network marketing, as you're leveraging yourself, it's like the gift that's glowing within you is skipping to one other person and then to another person and then to another person, and um, it's, it's like dreams are being fulfilled not everybody wants to be a big business mogul um, some people just want to have um, maybe health they want their life turned around maybe they want a little bit of income I don't know it I guess you come into this um, it, it's very individualistic but what is so beautiful we can lock arms or link arms and um, support each other and love each other and celebrate with each other we can grow with each other when you're ready to grow and for those that just want to stay comfortable and just enjoy the product um, that's okay too as long as you're happy um, the thing is you know and I just had this thought um, when it comes to um, this particular product I was talking with a woman the other day and this is superfood right and I was saying to her you know I know you don't want to do the business but when you start feeling good in your body when you start experiencing restoration and health it's really hard um, if you see somebody who's looking to not share if you see somebody who's calling for an answer and and withhold from them I'm not saying pour all over them and you know uh, just you know like be intrusive and and disrespectful I'm not saying that I'm saying as we're out and about as we're on the phone as you're talking to your friends as you're making new friends you're hearing different stories you're hearing from different ones you know what I'm really getting worn down with this pain or oh my gosh it's like I've been at this program forever and the weight's not budging and I'm really disheartened or I'm exhausted and I'm depressed and I don't feel like I have any hope for my future when you hear things like that and you know in your heart that you have something that might help that person how can you not share and of course you can add of course you can ask permission if I had something that I thought might help you would you give me permission to share even something as simple as that you know um, can open a door and a life can be changed and that's what I love about what I'm doing anyway it is about connecting isn't it and David Wood his program seminar conference this weekend was about the art of connection and I mean it was a gift um, the cost that was involved I was so appreciative um, because I mean this, he could charge what he wanted but what I find with this company people are not about price gouging and getting everything they can get out of you they're really about being in a position to pour out knowing the gift of life has a way of increasing and that increase can just ricochet reflect 
bounce right back on you. It's just kind of the natural flow of things anyway. The art of connection. And something David said was, how can you connect with somebody else if you're disconnected from yourself? How can you connect with people when you're not connected to yourself? Now, I can't go into a whole lot um, because it's, it's, it's um, such a gift. And um, it's almost like a door that you're choosing to step into, step up to, and go through. And it's, it's um, an act of decision. For me, it was even, it was very scary for me to do that. Um, I just didn't know what I might expect. And, um, but what came to me this weekend was at one point, you've gone through the door. And I remember saying to myself, well, I'm naked now. I might as well dance. And you know what? Bottom line, I have come back a changed person. There were times throughout the weekend I was wondering, what does this have to do with anything? But I trusted the teacher. I trusted the one who was imparting. And I'm so glad I did. This is Wednesday, and I was sitting up with my kids even last night, talking at the at the bar there, and, and um, I started laughing, and I was joking with them, and I was in a. I thought, oh my gosh, with all the stress and the oppression and just life stuff that has gone on in our home, um, I can be pretty upbeat, but. Something's shifted from deep inside my spirit. And I just want to say, when you have an opportunity to grow, go. It's worth the risk. It's worth being vulnerable. And David Wood and Cheryl and Warren and Frank and Linda, all of you, all of you were such a big part of my life this weekend. Brendan, I love you, baby. And Keith, you know, I, Tamara, I could go on and on. I made so many friends. I have so many friends. This is an amazing family. This family I have been embraced by and adopted up into. And I just want to say I appreciate you. And I'm changed. And I look forward to what's around the bend. We're going with this thing. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keith, I'll see you tonight. Brendan, <laughs> all you beautiful people. I'm sending you hugs. And we'll talk to you in the next few hours. I'm going to get back to making my calls, seeing who else is, um, uh, is, um, is looking for me and waiting for this message that I have. And I just thank you. For the, um, for the fragrance you've brought into my life. I'll say bye now. Toodles!